Hi everyone, uh, today I'm gonna make a mod, a battery mod for uh, this goggles here, this box goggle, the Ishin VR006. Uh, as you can see I already had the uh, uh, DVR mod and uh, this box here. Uh, this mod was originally made uh, by uh, Albert Kim. I will uh, link the video in the description so you can if you want to put this uh, box you can follow his video uh, this is a separate module that connects inside here on the board and uh, so the problem with this uh, DVR module though is that with the included battery uh, this goggle basically die really really quickly so uh, I get like uh, 20 maybe 25 minutes top of uh, video which is not uh, good so instead I'm gonna add this battery here uh, this is a uh, 2000 milliamps or 2 amps battery so this one should give me plenty of time to use this goggle here so uh, I'm probably gonna stick it uh, here on the side and maybe I'm gonna cut out this there's a there's a port here that it's not used I'll probably remove that maybe and see if I can uh, put the cable in there or something like that I'll figure it out um, along the way so I'll start by removing the antenna that don't need it and I'm gonna uh, take out these uh, straps uh, one by one they're pretty easy to remove and to put on back on and um, then there are four screws uh, they need to be removed at the bottom so one two yeah three there you go and the fourth one it's right here so four screws at the bottom and then uh, this should uh, open up easily um, I had to cut the foam for to in a, to be able to remove because the foam is glued on, so you need to uh, with a sharp knife. Um, and inside there is this lens, which is just a piece of plastic actually. Um, and this connector here, this very tiny connector, is the one that connects this battery. So I'm gonna gently use these pliers and remove it very gently. There you go. And uh, yeah, this connector here uh, connects this battery which is glued in. So now I'm just removing it because I'm not going to use it anymore. Just remove it and yeah, you can see the glue here. Um, and peeling it off, but I'm not sure what kind of battery this is. It doesn't really say uh, how many amps uh, this is. Anyway, so these are the two halves of the cables that I'm going to use so one half connects to this battery and the other half uses the same small connector um, that goes inside here so that's uh, what I need to do so I'm going to have to solder this cable together these two cable together here and so to help me out I'm using this uh, I think it's called putty eraser or something like that it used for in art schools use normally but I'm using just to uh, put my cable there and keep them in place while I I tin them with the solder a little bit of solder this cable is very very small so I'm using like a very thin uh, solder here and I'm gonna put in a couple of um, shrink wrap that I'm gonna shrink later once just to cover up the uh, uh, the soldering there and very quickly I'm just after I tin them I'm just gonna solder these two together one done and the other one here like so okay and now um, I'm uh, basically what I want to do I want to test it out before heat shrinking the uh, uh, the rubs there and I found out that it's not working and the reason why it's not working is because 
the original cable was wired uh, with opposite colors so the red was wired with the black and the black was wired with the back with the red so uh, that's really dangerous I, I don't know why uh, I didn't burn out the board but basically yeah um, what I have to do now it's soldering it's reversing the colors and soldering back uh, this way I'm not sure if only my uh, goggle had this problem of all this uh, of they all are the same but bear, bear in mind take a look at the way your connector uh, connects to the to the board to see the colors because mine was backwards so now I'm testing it out with another smaller battery here and it works as you can see I had to flip the color but now it works it turns on and really that was really dangerous I uh, I don't know why I didn't burn out my board so once that's done I am gonna use my heat gun with the lowest settings um, and I'm gonna uh, shrink wrap here to cover the, the soldering I'm gonna do the same with the other one uh, very quickly you don't want to spend uh, more than a couple of seconds of heat gun uh, otherwise it's, you're gonna melt the the cables and then I'm gonna put another one uh, just on top of both to cover them up so they're not gonna move as much again very quickly just a couple of seconds per side and flip it over do it again very quickly and so now I'm going to try and see if I could use that hole there but as you can see uh, the cable is not long enough so instead I'm gonna cut open a hole here I've done it before for the DVR mod so I'm gonna do it again um, and this it's a fairly s uh, soft plastic so it shouldn't be too hard to cut out uh, I use a pair of pliers and a cutter and you know open I have a hole like that this should be enough so I insert the uh, the smaller side of the cable of the plug in there connect it so I can uh, can see where I can decide what which length uh, the, the cable is gonna be inside and yeah I mean even if it comes out a little bit I mean I it can stay like that but uh, you should probably glue it if you can put some hot glue but I don't care so I'm just gonna leave a little bit of the cable coming outside so I'm gonna clean up a little bit the lens one side of the lens is rough and one side is smooth uh, I'm not sure why uh, it looks like it's a, it's a Fresnel lens uh, but it's made of plastic so it's not great and um, now I'm closing back make sure to put the screen and everything in the same position at the original and what it's left to do is just put back the screws one by one uh, again um, this goggle is very very cheap but uh, um, it's giving me a little bit of eye strain so for now I'm using it but it's not great so uh, if you're long-sighted like me you might have a little bit of problems with this goggle anyway so uh, now here I'm figuring out which side I'm gonna put the battery and to stick the battery I'm gonna use this uh, uh, taped uh, velcro so I'm gonna close it like this and cut it not not too small but not too long either I don't need much uh, this should be enough and peel it off like that and basically I'm gonna put it in the middle here so this should be more than enough and also I'm gonna stick it to the side like that all right yeah that should as you can see the velcro is there I probably should have put it uh, a little bit on top so it doesn't cover the seam there if I want to open it again I'm probably gonna have to cut it but uh, I don't plan to open it anymore 
so connect the battery there and yeah seems that everything is looking pretty good put back the antenna and put back the uh, the head strap uh, it's very easy to just insert uh, like that it takes a few seconds which I really like uh, the way that these straps are uh, attached to the goggles very easy to remove and here it is this is the uh, final product and um, as you can see you can easily remove the battery for charging I'm gonna use my IMAX B6 mini to charge this battery again it's a 2000 milliamp uh, battery so uh, yeah, and that's it. That was a pretty quick mod, but hopefully with this battery I'm gonna have a lot more uh, time to use um, the goggle. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. So stay tuned and see you. Okay, guys. So I'm testing it out. The battery is almost died, and I'm at two hours and fifty one minutes, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, it, I went from 25 minutes tops to 2 hours and 51 this is really good and now it's basically dead yeah the screen turned off so I let it run until it shut down 2 hours 51 minutes which is absolutely fantastic uh, totally recommend you guys to do this uh, mod I will link all the parts in the description below so yeah uh, pretty happy with it um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.